What up, it's your boy Sheen with another video for your heads. <laughs> Let me stop playing. Look, we're doing a video today on a review of the Adidas Stan Smith. Um, a staple shoe that should be in a men's wardrobe or female's wardrobe. Really, very clean shoe. Um, we're going to get into this review for this shoe and let's do it. Dated back in 1965, the Adidas Stan Smith was first released. When it was released in 1965, it was um, named after the French tennis player called Robert Hallibert. I forgot his name, to tell you the truth. But in 1978, it switched to the American tennis player um, by the name of Stan Smith. To this day, that's the shoe and what it's named by. The price on the Stan Smith is very reasonable. The shoe runs for around $80 um, USD. But, you know, if you go on the Adidas website, you can find some on sale for $50 upwards to around $150. So it's a very affordable shoe for everybody. The price range is not bad for the quality of shoe that you will receive. The design of the Stan Smith is very simple. It has an upper white leather, as you can see, that goes all around all around the shoe um, in addition it has you know basic laces nothing special with these laces basic laces basic laces on the tongue you have put this down on the tongue you have Stan Smith face right there that's right there on the tongue that's Stan Smith um, and you know like other Adidas, you usually see the three stripes. This doesn't have the three stripes per se, but it has perforated holes that emulates the three stripes. See? Those are supposed to be um, ear vents as well, right there. And then on the bottom, you can see it got the Adidas logo right there on the bottom, on the outer um, heel. Also, what I like about it is the toe box actually. And then the toe box is right here. I like that. It's simple, no logo, just like a little plain leather toe box. Nice and clean um, shoe, if I might add. On the back, you got the splash right here. That splash um, with the Stan Smith on the back. This right here was to um, be good for your ankles this ankle is supposed to be this flash right here it's supposed to be like an ankle padding i think they started this this wasn't how the shoe originally was they actually made this adjustment with the splash in the back and this colorway um is actually the probably like one of the most um common and you know iconic um colorways with the shoe One of the pluses about the Stan Smith is the shoe will be made for anybody. And with I say that is because there's so many colorways, so many things. They done did um, you know, collaborations with Marvel, Disney, all types of stuff for kids. They did stuff for adults. They all have all different type of colorways and unique um aspirations. I can't um even fathom, I can't really even, I don't know how many versions of this shoe actually exist uh, because there are so many of these shoes out there so many different versions that um you can get if you don't want this basic version they have a lot of versions there uh that you can choose from and um pick from there now for the comfort comfort um i like these shoes my opinion per se these shoes right here i haven't worn these yet um, besides the test wear for my B-roll, but I haven't worn these yet. I had the ones, the the uh, the same ones last summer, but with the blue. I put those right there, um, and those had the blue splash 
and I liked those, but I got the green ones this time, the more original ones. And I'm gonna wear them these this summer. I, I, this is probably my, I think it's my third, fourth pair of Stan Smiths that I have owned in my lifetime. And I will continue to wear these shoes, especially in the summertime. You know, they're around 80 bucks and you're getting um, premium feel. The, the shoe is a premium feel. The leather feels good. And I didn't mention when I was going over the design that in the inside of the shoe, if you can see, all in here is this is leather that's leather from right here so like the so basically like the back portion the heel of your feet is leather it's like going through which is good and then you see that usually only in premium shoes you know so that's a good plus about it the price they're comfortable i could walk around in the mall i can go out with these and i could walk around pretty much the whole day with this shoe on my feet so it's comfortable for um, anybody who may ask and it's a simple shoe everybody needs a basic white shoe and this is my shoe right here this is my basic white shoe you know some people wear Air Force Ones um, some people wear um, shell to Adidas or different versions of Adidas there's a lot of people that you know have their version of a white shoe this here is my version of a white plain basic shoe nice summer joint you know Overall, I would recommend the Adidas Stan Smith for anybody who's looking for a shoe to wear casually um, with an affordable price, with um, an iconic history as well, and a very simple minimalistic design. If you like this video, please subscribe, like, and share. You know, all appreciation and support I need um, will help me further grow my channel. That's Shane, and guess what? I'm out.